Have you ever experienced a streak of bad fishing luck where you just couldn't get your timing right? Well, this is not one of those fishing trips. Join Team SFTV as we fight off the sharks to enjoy one of the worst kept secrets in the Florida Keys. Black fin, black fin, black fin, nice one. The famed Marathon Hump. It's early autumn and the tuna bite is on. Unbelievable. <laughs> We're on a fish. Oh, 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 oh my God! Yeah. 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 Welcome to Sport Fishing TV. I'm Dean Travis Clark. Autumn in the Florida Keys means blackfin tuna fishing out on those giant seamounts known as the humps. And for those anglers who are willing to brave the sharks, fishing can be red hot. Now in this episode, world-renowned angler Carter Andrews joins Saltwater Sportsman's Editor-in-Chief John Brownlee for some of the best fishing anywhere on the planet. There are many reasons why I live in the Florida Keys, and one of them is that I can fish any time of the year. The historic Chica Lodge is our home base for the short journey to the hump with my good friends, photographer Brian Grossenbacher and angler Carter Andrews. Carter has graced the pages of Saltwater Sportsman more than once, his angling skills have produced numerous tournament victories and many prestigious accolades. We're armed with light pen spinning gear for what we hope will be a productive day over this offshore seamount. At the helm of our Yellowfin 36 is local expert Captain Brian Cohn of the charter boat Contagious. Brian is keen to the intricacies of catching blackfin tuna and knows exactly where our first stop will be, a residential basin infested with free bait. I don't know if I've ever seen more bait in one net. We load up our live wells with hundreds of frisky pilchards, and it's game on. The Marathon Hump is located 27 miles southeast of Marathon, smack dab in the middle of the Gulf Stream, where the current runs the strongest. The remnants of this ancient volcano rise from 1,150 feet on the east side to 480 feet from the surface. Okay, Carter, we're at the, uh, what they call the Marathon Hump. This is pretty basic stuff. We got about 5,000 filters here, I think. Got some Life big, is good. I know, got some big hook baits. All we're doing is putting them on a, a very small circle hook. It's about a 2-0 circle hook with a 25-pound leader. And we throw them out here and see if we can get the black fins to come up by chumming with live bait. And if it works, you'll know it soon because they'll be busting all behind the boat. It's pretty exciting fishing, really. The idea is just to let it go out. If a tuna picks it up and takes off, just flip your bail close. Circle hook does the rest. Circle hook does all the work. It doesn't take long for the live pilcher chum to trigger the tunas into a full-blown feeding frenzy. Oh, look at that. Look at that blackfin chasing them. Oh, man. The carter is focused on a different creature lurking under the waves. All the Florida Keys offshore humps are a favorite haunt for hungry sharks, and the frenzy rings the dinner bell for these predators. Blackfin tuna are usually mixed with skipjack tunas or little tunny. Our challenge will be to get a hooked fish into the boat before the sharks attack. They've learned to wait for a tuna to get hooked, then take advantage of the easy meal. Oh, big one. Right there. They're right here. I got a good one. This was a nice one. Look at them right here. They're right here in the boat. <laughs> oh. Tripled up! Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Carter, I'm over the top of you, buddy. Look at it. Look at the shark. Good. Holy nice. Look at the size of that Big shark. Big shark. There's two sharks. That shark is full grown. He is full grown, buddy. How's this, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was a big one. He sees the shark. How you may have the shark. Oh, he came off. Got eight. He got sharkified. I mean, I got bit off. Houston, we have a problem. <sighs> Sharks. It's very frustrating to see hundreds of tuna all around us, but not be able to get a single one into the boat. There's about 10 sharks back there. Look at them all. Sharks all over me. Me too. You feel the shark eating them. 
Yeah. <laughs> Full contact. So I grabbed the only pen spinner on the rack spooled with much heavier line, thinking I may be able to horse the tuna to the boat before the sharks attack. And it worked. Nice black fin. <laughs> Can't see him. There we go. Now we're talking. All right. Man, talk about effort. A little work. A little work. <laughs> That's a nice one. Now we're on to something, so we made the decision to run back to the docks and grab heavier fishing gear. Not such a big deal with this horsepower. Coming up, armed with bigger reels, heavier line, and after changing into my lucky shirt, our fate changes as the action explodes over the marathon hump. Don't go away. This is good, John. This is really good, buddy. You get action. Sport Fishing Television is brought to you by Yellowfin, the choice of champions. By Simrad NSE and NSO Navigation, best in class, in every class. By Sabeel USA, innovative fishing. By Mercury Marine, and by pen, let the battle begin. With heavier tackle in hand, confidence is high as we set up again over the hump. Carter, I think they're here. What do you think? I think you're right, John. Thank they're you. They're busting all behind the boat. This is an amazing fishery. In no time at all, the pilchards do their magic. There's one right now. Ah, right there at the boat. There he one. is. Come on, yeah. You think? I think I am. Come here, you're mine. The daddy. I got him. Oh my gosh. John, he ate it 10 feet behind the boat. Come on, don't fight. Oh well, he didn't hear me. He's not listening. Come on. <laughs> I'm off. No, I'm on. He's still there. Oh, yeah. Carter, I gotta go under you. Oh, gee, did you see that? That's a hammerhead. Hammerhead. Ate him on the surface. That was spectacular. Nice job, Carter. Nice job, buddy. There he is. Thank you. Target species. One for dinner. Right. I love it. Good job, Carter. Carter, you're one for one. So, Brian, here we are. We're out at the, uh, what they call the Marathon Hump. It's one of, what, five or six major humps offshore of the Florida Keys. Tell us a little bit about why these are special places to fish and why there's so many fish here. Uh, the cool thing about the humps is they're it causes a natural upwelling with the Gulf Stream. It's like an underwater mountain. Right. And the water hits it and it forms an upwelling. The bait fish congregate on top and the predators come around these to feed on the bait fish. Now you get big rips and stuff uh, formed on the surface when there's a lot of current. Is, good, is current good, a lot of current? Uh, the more current, the better, because the more food that comes, right. it gets them more excited. I mean, you can see the rips forming off from the current today. Conditions look really good. The sharks seem to hone in on the tuna that struggle hard or make a long screaming run. So our goal is to keep the tuna's head up and horse it to the boat as quickly as possible. There he is, right there. Oh. Right, buddy. Uh, John Carter. Come on. Again. Oh, another double. Look at yours flashing down there. Oh, he's on you, Carter. He's on you. Open oh. <laughs> fish in here. Oh man, look at the size of that thing. Pretty work. Come up, come up. I got you, John. Just whip him in, whip him in. All right. Full contact, buddy boy. Full contact. Sweet. Oh man. This is like 
It's like working out. It's like doing bench presses and curls all at once. Look. <laughs> awesome. We got Carter on the rod. Carter on the rod. All right, Carter, keep the sharks busy for a few minutes, will you? No, he's got me. No. Yeah, I'm going to stretch. Go ahead. I got bit off. Woo! Sweet. They're getting bigger. Getting bigger. This is good, John. This is really good, buddy. Pretty good action. Contagious. We're spanking them. Brian keeps tossing in the live chum, and the hits just keep on coming. It's a good fish. Carter, I'm going to switch with you. All right. Look at him. I know. Amazing, isn't it? A pretty thing. I got a nice fish here, guys. Hope I can get him through the shark gauntlet. Running the shark gauntlet. Right there. Look at him back there. Oh my gosh. This guy's got shoulders. You need to come up. The shark's after you. You got him right there. You son of a gun. Shark ate him right under the boat. Look at the size of that shark. Now I got the shark. Fire is on again. Well, one of us seems to have figured out how to run the gauntlet. <laughs> Unbelievable. You look at him right next to the boat? Yeah. No, no, he can't get his head down. <laughs> Unbelievable. Our Simrad sounder has us right on top of the fish. And wait until you see the true integration capabilities this unit has. That's next. I'm here with Sean Edmonds from Simrad to introduce their new NSE 12 integrated display system. When I say integrated, I mean you can control or monitor absolutely everything and anything that's electrical or electronic aboard your boat. Tell me about this screen. This is our engine monitoring screen, and what this allows us to do is display any information that the engine manufacturer will output across the NME-A2000 backbone. Everything, including trim tabs. And why I really like this is because it's big. With my aging eyes, all those engine monitoring devices they have, LCDs, small, hard to see. This is great. What else can it do? What, all, what we also have with the NMEA 2000 is we have this C-Zone system, and we're allowed to view, monitor, and control that system uh, through the NSE. So what I can do is go in and select any device on the 2000 backbone using the zoom in, zoom out. I have the ability to toggle it on and off with the click of a button. When you say put it on the 2000 backbone, that means anything. You can just plug it in and you can control everything electronic right from there. That's correct. That's incredible integration. The Marathon Hump is still covered up with tuna. There they are. And sharks. Here they come. Hey, Justin, throw some baits over here. Oh, look at that. Look at that blackfin chasing them. Oh, man. Ready to go? It's time for our next event, synchronized fishing. There he is, right there. Oh, double oh. header. Oh. <laughs> I think you won. Carter's skipjack never had a chance. I think he set the record for the fastest tuna catch. But of course, mine is much larger and takes off. <laughs> How fun is that? These sharks have become so picky, they stick their noses up at skipjack tuna. Love it. You're right that's, yours. that's yours, that's yours, that's yours, that's yours, man. Brian takes a crack at Carter's speed record. Oh, the oh, the oh, 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 God. I got some cut off. See, I do it so when it comes undone and they get to the boat. 
Man, these are hefty fish, aren't they? Oh, strong. Got them? All yours. That's a good one, buddy. Full grown. They're so beautiful, that purple color. The lines in their belly. See ya. Isla Mirada. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, one, two, three, go. Oh, block pen. <laughs> go over me, go over me, go over me. <sighs> Insane. Come on, oh, oh, oh. I need a nap. Yeah. That's a good one. Look how pretty they are. Lit up gold. We're eating tonight. Put them in the box. Yeah, just throw them down and get you this. Yeah, man. Who needs a gaff anyway? Man. That's tuna fishing, boys. That's pretty hot stuff. More about this sportsman's paradise when we come back. Sport Fishing Television has been brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. By King Sailfish Mounts, offering a full selection of world-class release mounts. By Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. By Chica Lodge and Spa, luring anglers to the Florida Keys for over 60 years. And by Yellowfin, the choice of champions. The Overseas Highway runs from Key Largo to Key West, connecting some of the most unique destinations in the world. The Keys are spread out over 126 miles of South Florida, and the entire area is a water sports lover's paradise. Whether you like shallow water flats fishing or prefer the call of the deep blue Gulf Stream, the fishing in the Florida Keys is second to none. You can bring your own boat or take advantage of one of the most knowledgeable and experienced groups of charter captains and guides to be found anywhere in the world. The fishing is only one part of the story. There are also incredible snorkeling and diving opportunities, plus sailing, windsurfing, kiteboarding, parasailing, and kayaking. And when the sun goes down, there are hundreds of options for fine dining and evening entertainment. There's something here for everyone. No matter what kind of outdoor recreation you prefer, you'll find it in the Florida Keys and Key West. Back at the Marathon Hump, the fishing has been so good, we decide to try something different. Carter, we've caught a whole bunch of them on bait. Let's try something new. Let's put out a couple of Seville lures, see what happens. You know, I know they're gonna eat them, don't you? <laughs> okay, here we go. Watch this. Blackfin, black blackfin, black blackfin. Nice one. There he is, Brian. That's a good one. Look how pretty they are. Nice work. Yes, sir. There we go. Seville. That's what I'm talking about. Get on the Seville. How about that, buddy? <laughs> Catching right. them on artificial. Got to love it. Oh, you got him. All right. That Seville bite. That was sweet. Double, 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 double. Come here. Beefing up our tackle proved to be a great move. Yeah, I'm right here, Brian. He's got them all. Oh, that's money, buddy. Careful. Let him go. Nice work, Tom. How about that, buddy? A release tool is essential when fishing lures offshore. On this, buddy, how about that? Bongo minnow. Pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, they love them. They love them. 
They look just like a pilchard in the water, I it think. It mimics it very well. The right yeah. size. Yeah, right size and everything. Right color. Yeah, let's let them go. Good angler. We got enough. <laughs> Woo! With plenty of fresh tuna in the box and extremely sore backs, it's time to head for Chica Lodge and a well-earned cold beverage. Isla Morada is truly one of the jewels of the Florida Keys. And when searching for a place to rest during your stay, do as we do and consider the beautiful and historic Chica Lodge and Spa, considered the premier luxury resort in the Florida Keys. Since 1946, this lush oceanfront retreat has enchanted guests with world-class fishing, exceptional accommodations, and gracious hospitality. Chica Lodge and Spa is an exhilarating tropical playground with exquisitely appointed West Indies-style accommodations nestled amidst lush gardens, shimmering pools, and cascading waterfalls. And the rooms? Stunning. Opulent suites just steps from the beach, lagoon view rooms, or romantic beach bungalows. It's a secluded private enclave that has captivated generations of families, Hollywood celebrities, Washington elite, and several U.S. presidents over its 60-plus years. A big thanks to Captain Brian Cohn for making this one of the best tuna fishing trips I've ever experienced. He really knows his stuff and was a pleasure to fish with. And of course, as always, thanks to King Sailfish Mounts for letting our hearing impaired viewers share our adventures. For Carter Andrews and Brian Cohn, I'm John Brownlee with Saltwater Sportsman. We'll see you on the water.